Welcome to Fully, Fully cooked. cooked, because we cook like a bunch of fools too. Fully Cooked! I love coffee in the French press, and my husband made some awesome coffee, and I want to show you how he made it. Start by heating your water up in a kettle. We use a kettle to save electricity, and plus we don't use a microwave. It's only going to take a few minutes. After the water comes to a boil, just let it sit for up to one minute. For the best tasting coffee, we use organic whole bean coffee and we grind it up in our grinder. A link for this particular grinder is going to be in the description box below. We really love this grinder, but it is very, very loud. As a general rule of thumb, for each one cup of coffee, you're going to need one tablespoon of ground coffee. You gently pulse to grind up the beans. If you just keep it mashed the entire time, you can heat the beans up and that won't be good. And you can also damage your grinder. Shake it up a bit. Shake it. Do I wanna shake it? You wanna shake it? Go ahead and add the grounds to your French press. You don't have to make it this fine. You can actually make it pretty much a lot more coarse than this. He didn't make enough, so he has to do this twice. It's okay, it doesn't take that much time. He likes to add stevia to it inside the French press, so it all cooks together. Grab up the water that you just boiled. Now your water has been sitting for almost a minute to reduce the temperature of boiling. Now you can do this two ways. You can add all the water at once or you can add half of the water now and half of the water in four minutes. Do I get a He's just giving it a good stir before he lets it sit for this four minute period of time to get all the flavors out. Whee! It's like the coffee is trying to hypnotize you. Drink me! Drink me! Okay, after the four minutes are up, Push the plunger down. Now it has been said that this kind of coffee is a little dangerous and raises your cholesterol levels. It is true. The paper filter that you use in a regular conventional coffee maker is what takes that oil out. So if you wanna pour this through a conventional coffee filter, it will get rid of that. But drinking this once in a while shouldn't be harmful for your health. And who doesn't like coffee? Right now. This second. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment and let me know you were here. Check out our other channels and last week's video. Subscribe to our channels. We make a video every single day on Fully Living. And I upload a new video every Monday on this channel. Have a great day.